rained out last night. Doubleheader at fifth third today for the Rockets and Falcons. In the first game and in the second game, a downpour of base hits begins in the first. Falcons at Nathan Rose to Mike Hesman home run alley. BG up 4 nothing for the Rockets even had an at bat. But once they did, boy, did they ever get at bat. Second inning down to Caden Konchak waits on the breaking ball. Three run homer, his 11th of the year. Konchak four for five, four runs, four RBI in the Long ball parade just getting started in the fifth. Garrett Pike already with one home run. Parks went into the picnic benches. Anthony Wayne Grad three for six, four ribs, three runs scored, and the hits keep on coming. Leadoff man Jaron Williams hits not one, not two, but three home runs today in game one. Four for six, five RBI, scores four times. Rockets take that first game 19 to seven. Seven home runs, including an eighth inning blast for Mason Sykes, who felt he was robbed of a dinger at fifth third last year. He makes up for it today. In game two, more of the same between the two rivals. Bottom of the first, Rockets down a run. Pike in scoring position. Sykes connects on the base hit into left. Pike ties the game at one run apiece. But then in the third inning, the Falcons would take control. One run already in, base is full. Nate Archer goes deep. I Ziggy, grand slam. Bowling Green leading six to one. And then in the next inning, Bowling Green blows it open. DJ Newman, the Archbold product, driving in Mason Montgomery, makes it eight to three. A couple batters later, Archer, you can touch them all. Three run homer, part of a seven run third. That's the difference in game two. Falcons split the doubleheader. They take two of three in the season ending series for both teams. 16 5, the final two teams combined for 47 runs in about six and a half hours of baseball. Well, game five from Omaha between the Mud Hens and the Storm Chasers. This one, a little different story, Mark. It was scoreless until the fifth inning with two ducks on the pond. Tyler Nevin singles on a line drive. Justin Henry Malloy brings in the first run. So not as many runs that were being scored at fifth third field out in Omaha in the sixth. The pitching breaks down for Omaha. Base is loaded. They walk two straight batters. So Toledo tacks on two runs. Then Parker Meadows sack fly caps off a three run six inning. Omaha would add one run in the seventh, but the Hens snap a three game losing streak 4-1 the final series finale tomorrow, 6.05.